Hey guys, now I had a request as to what ROM I am using on my phone, and the answer to that is I'm using the Open Kang Maguru Build X ROM. I am on Milestone 1, I know they just released Milestone 2, and I will flash that in a few days probably. Um, so I'll just go, wrong button there. I don't even know where my settings are, there we go. We'll go into ROM control here, and I'll just show you the extra features you can get. Obviously, as you noticed here, I have a search soft key down the bottom here which I find great use. We go to the general UI. Lots of different settings here. We've got menu settings, menu visibility, navigation bar. You can toggle this nice little CRT off animation there. Make sure I didn't show you my passcode. Um, all these other features here. You can even do a custom carrier label if you really want to but one word of warning with that is if you do it there's no going back without flashing again, so just watch out for that one. Got some lock screen options in here, and we also have some power saving options, which people may like, but since I'm rocking this 3800 milliamp power battery, I don't think I'll be trying them too much. And I've got the LED options here, but I use light flow to control my LEDs. Status bar general and battery. So I'm running a battery mod at the moment, but you can get the text up there if you don't have it with your current setup. Also, on top of this, I'm running Nova Launcher, which allows you to have multiple icons in the dock, multiple dock pages, swipe between them. You can have multiple home screens. I've got the standard five, but you can have up to seven. Also, you can get rid of the persistent search bar, which I don't really find using since I've got this search soft key. I can just do that and we're straight into the Google search anyway. Just go up into the Nova settings here. And you've got all these, so you can customize the desktop. You have the different scrolling effects. So, you can see here I've got cube on, you can put none if you want, and it just goes side to side at the stock launcher go back into Nova settings here. You can have card stack which is like the standard app draw or you can have cube which I find really good. You can change the width, the desktop grid so if you don't like the uh, current 4x4 you can change it up to a 7x7 seven seven, I believe. Yep, 7x7 seven seven. or if you fancy having no icons on your thing you can have a 2x2 uh, two two, if that's the kind of thing you're into. And you can change the amount of home screens here, so press that button there, get another home screen. And there's another, I think seven is the maximum. Yep, and if you want to remove them, you just drag up to there. Missed there. Okay, I'll just head back into Nova settings here, just show you the rest of the stuff. Got the dock here, so the amount of docks, the margins on the side, how many pages and whether you want the divider in it or not. You can have wallpaper scrolling, resize all the widgets, um, choose what action the home button does, so you can have it to app draw, show previews, default screen, toggle notifications, expand notifications, or voice, voice search. Um, and you can select that to do it only on the default screen, which is a nice little feature. And it's got built-in updating, which is really useful, and error and usage reporting. I will link the XDA thread for Nova Launcher in the description if you want to try it out. Another thing I'm running is I'm running um, Franco's custom kernel here. So there, there you go. Actually, okay, so with the mod, with the ROM I'm running, we are on Android 4.0.3 and there is my kernel, the Franco kernel 99.2 I'll link you to that in the description and you can see my mod version there is AOKP Maguro Build Milestone 1 and I will soon be going to Milestone 2. Okay, so that was just a quick run through of the uh, ROM kernel and launcher I have on my phone. Hope you found it useful and I will see you next time.